Hi everyone, welcome back to Game Maker Cast. It's Mickey, and in today's video, we're gonna be checking out a library called Good Vibes. It allows us to control our controllers and send them rumbles or vibrations whenever we need it. So let's roll the introduction and get right into it. So I saw this library posted on Discord and I took a look at it and it's it's pretty awesome. I like it. Uh, we need to download the library off of GitHub. So we want to go over to the releases tab and then download this YYMPS file. Once we've downloaded that, let's switch back to GameMaker Studio. And in GameMaker Studio, we'll go to our tools menu and say import local package. Want to make sure that we import the good vibes package and we'll just click open then we'll be prompted with a screen here and we can see all of the information that's going to be imported we just want to take the entire vibration folder here and say import now for me my folder showed up here at the bottom now i can see i have a whole bunch of curves i also have an object and then the vibrate script itself now it's going to be up to us as the developer to actually use these objects here, which is the object vibration and the vibrate script. So what I've done is I've created a little wrapper object that we're going to use, and we're going to be able to pass in information or pass in variables to this vibrate object, which will allow us to control the strength for the left and right, and also the duration of the frames. So what we want to do is set up some default variables and we'll set up a strength for the left, right, and then the duration in frames for left and right. Now the strength will be between zero and one, and also the frames can be any number you want, but I think 10 is a good starting number. Now, like I said, I need this to happen on the fly, so I can't really call the vibrate function here. I need it to happen one frame afterwards, and that is why we have a alarm zero here. So what we need to do after the create event, we'll just say run alarm zero after one frame and in alarm zero is where we're actually going to call the vibrate function, which will in turn call this vibrate object. Now the function we are going to be using is called vibrate extend it. And this is just because we can control the left, right and the duration of each of the frames. So we need to pass in some variables. We need to pass in the strength for the left. And we also need to pass in the strength for the right. And then we also need the duration for the frames, once again for the left, and then the duration for the frames for the right. Now with this information and this little wrapper object, we are all done. We can close this and if we check out the object zone here, I have a little thing where wherever we pr press the left mouse button, if we press on the left side, then we set the strength of the right side to zero. We press on the uh, right side, vice versa. If we press full, then we set both to one. So that's the full strength. So the only thing that we really need to do to clean everything up in, is in the object zone here, in the alarm zero, we want to make sure that we destroy ourselves. So we'll say instance destroy. And that will destroy our helper class here. So now if I go to my object zone and I add a step event, and let's just say show debug message, and we want to show the instance count. So how many instances do we have? I'll pick up my controller to show you the first little bit here. But when I'm clicking on, say, the left side, you can see our instance count is going up. If I click on the right side, the instance count goes up and then back down. And it's the same with the full rumble. Now, if I click really fast, I might be able to get something a little bit better, but you can see that the instances are always keeping pretty low. Now, I'm going to put my controller on my desk here, and I can't really show you this, but I will hold on to the core of my controller, and I will click on full rumble a bunch of times. You can hear that definitely, and I can do the right side, and I can see my bar moving as well as the left side. So you can see we have some rumble support here and it doesn't really matter where we click, but you can see that it's working. Everything gets cleaned up automatically. This is really neat. Uh, so yeah, I'd like to thank you for watching and please check out the library found on GitHub and that is also in the description below. I'd like to thank you for watching the video and to those who have subscribed to the channel, thank you so much. In addition to those who are supporting me through Patreon, a super special shout out to the following users in no particular order. Darthwolf, Paul, Bill, Angel, Ashby, Ian, Robert, Blunt BSC, Victor, Annie, and Edward. Once again, thank you all, and you can find all the information in the description below the video. Thanks again.